Like kids in a candy store, more women are seeking out a type of silicone breast implant, nicknamed the gummy bear. So is this the future of breast augmentation surgery? Board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Bob Basu is here to talk about this new trend. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to be with you. Well, it's called the gummy bear, but we're not talking about stuffing ourselves with gummy bears, <laughs> right, right. right? Right, so what the word gummy means, mm -hmm. it really refers to the consistency of the silicone gel material that's inside these implants. Mm -hmm. And that's what really helps to make, give us, or give our patients a much more natural look and feel. And mm -hmm. so the correct term really for these implants is they are cohesive gel implants. And in other words, that the filling material coheses together. And if you look at that little poster, mm -hmm. if we can hold that up for our sure. viewers, um, that shows an example of a silicone gel implant or a gummy bear implant that we've cut in half and you can see in that poster when you squeeze the two halves just like the gummy bear candy when you break them in half they don't leak and that's where the term cohesive gel comes from and that's partly what allows us to get our patients a much more natural look and feel and you brought in some examples just to give us an idea sure. of, of what they feel like so this was the older this right was the older so version. on this side where you see that rippling that's what's called a classic silicone mm -hmm. implants and we don't do that for our patients anymore because you can see it ripples right and I brought just two examples and there's many more examples of the new cohesive or gummy bear implants and you can see there's a lot less rippling that mm -hmm. there there's different degrees of gumminess to meet the individual needs mm -hmm. uh, of the patient yeah and you can tell they're they're very soft to the touch mm -hmm. uh, what about the risk of, of rupturing so the good news is that these implants are very safe medical devices and all the studies have clearly shown these implants are safe in terms of rupture the rates of rupture are actually lower but even if your implant ruptures if you again because of the gummy nature, these implants don't leak, the filling material actually sticks together. Mm -hmm. In addition, the studies have shown that the rates of scar tissue buildup, uh, also known as capsular contracture, are much, much less with these implants. These implants, these gummy bear implants are simply much safer than its predecessors. And then what about keeping their shape? Do they do a better job than implants that have been around for a while? They do. We actually find an implant that meets the individual needs of the patient, so the patient evaluation is critical. It's not a one-size-fits-all mm -hmm. at all. We mm -hmm. need to look at the patient's cosmetic goals, their anatomy, their skin quality, and we pick a gummy bear implant that addresses their challenges so we mm -hmm. can best meet their goals. And then when you're talking about price, it, it, would this be the, the priciest implant that is offered it, now, it or, or how does it, it, it compare? It really depends on the patient's anatomy, what we need to do, do we need to do a lift. The price of these implants as we go with the degree of gumminess does go up a little bit each increment, mm -hmm. but um, the price really depends on the individual patient's mm -hmm. anatomy and what exactly we need to do. And we know that once a woman gets implants, that's not not the only time she'll have to replace them throughout the years if she lives long enough. Will this one last longer than the ones in the past? We think so, yes. Um, the old teaching was every 10 years a woman needs to remove and replace their implants, and that's actually a myth. If cosmetically they're happy with their implants at 10 years and they're doing your well woman exams with self exams and annual mammograms and everything's fine, there's no reason to have revision surgery. That's simply unnecessary surgery. The only reason to have revision surgery is if there's something going on cosmetically. So these implants mm -hmm. are very safe. All right, gummy bears. Their implants, and we've learned they do not come with flavors, right? right. <laughs> do not ask for a flavor. All right. You're not going to get so it. Thank you so much for coming in. Good to be with you. Appreciate it. Tom.